Hello, Benelli Nuts. Right, I'm Dynamite Dave. A lot of people know me as probably one of the world's uh, biggest or most famous dark coaches. Also have a massive passion for motorcycles. I've been riding motorbikes um, on and off since I was a small lad. So it's in your blood. Once it gets in your blood, it stays in your blood. To cut a long story short, if this is the first video you've seen, what I would say to you is don't watch this video first. Go back and watch the original ones from when I first bought the bike. This is sort of like a bit of a homage to a motorcycle that I bought through having, an, having to have an operation. I had to have a new knee and I couldn't ride sports bikes anymore. And to cut a long story short, I wanted some form of cruiser or some form of custom bike. But what I really craved was one that you could actually ride. I've had a few of these in the past. As Again, if you go back in the videos, you'll see. I've spoke about it before and there's um, streams of pictures there of all the bikes that I've, I've had. You name it, I've had it Ducati, from Ducatis all the way through to simple Yamahas and Suzukis and what have you. And I found the Benelli 502C, bought it, fell in love with it. Um, went and had a test ride on it and just fell even deeper in love with it and then went and bought one. I've now had that motorcycle for about 13 or 14 months now. Right, so what are we going to do? What we're going to do is go back and remake some of the old videos, but a year on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a review of the Benelli 502C. So very similar to what I did the last time, the walk round review of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this time what accessories I've put on it. Um, and then obviously there's videos that I've done on certain accessories and there's some other videos that I'm going to make on fitting the other accessories that you're going to see in the next video. That will be a walk round and that will be a video in itself because it'll be a good half an hour, 40 minutes long for me to get through all the bits and bobs and the little stories and what have you of what I've done over the last 12 months to get her to where she is. Then what we're going to do in the following video after that is we're going to go and do a test ride. So basically the things that you need to know if you want to go and buy one. So link with the first video, the second video, then what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll do a top speed video, we'll do a fuel economy video and we'll do a general video where I'll go and do a few of the, well to be honest with you, they're the world's greatest roads I believe anyway, because where I am, if again if you look back in you'll see I've done the Cat and Fiddle, the Snake Pass, Woodhead Pass, there's loads of like roads around here and it's not just those passes, it's the roads that are around those passes and sometimes it's a bit like the Cat and Fiddle. If you go up to the Cat and Fiddle, the famous way of doing it and where people come on holiday and what have you, they go into Macclesfield Town Centre and turn left. Now if you go about four or five miles out the other side of Macclesfield, there's a left turning. You turn left onto that road and I can't remember what the, the road numbers are. When we do it, I'll explain it all and what I'll do is I'll do both routes. Like I say, you go about four or five miles out and you turn left onto this like little road and it takes you out up over the top of the hills and it's just absolutely amazing. You think the cat and fiddle's good. This has got some like double back bends on it. Um, it's got some crests on it where, let's just say your front wheel goes a little bit light as you go over the top. So that's the sort of videos we're going to do over the next, probably up until September or something, when the weather start here starts to go a bit peak tongue again. So this video has just been like a little bit of a, an introduction into what we're going to be doing next, and that review video will be out in a couple of days, hopefully tomorrow or maybe the day after. So this is just a little bit of an introduction to whet your appetite. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few clips on of the videos from last year so the year when i bought the bike so we'll have a little bit of a montage of that that'll be the end of this video and then what we'll do is we'll go on to this year's and where we are a year on so let's get on to that little bit of a montage and we'll see you in the next video
now done um, just about a thousand miles. I've had it a couple of weeks. So if I keep using this bike the way that I am at the moment, I'm gonna have to change my insurance uh, on the mileage because I've only put it down for 3,000 miles and I think I'm gonna do a lot more than that this year. Judging by the way that I love riding this and it's absolutely fantastic for me new knee. I struggled with the last bike that I had which was a K1300S because your feet are underneath your bum and as you go over the bumps it smacks your knee up and down which ain't much good when you've got a false knee right so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to uh, Woodhead and we'll see you over there So let's have some fun on the Benelli 502C. 